There's a swimming pool right in the middle. And the rooms are all around. There's a name there. And the hotel entrance is in the back there. But also, Billabong, Rip Curl. Here has a big collection of perfumes. Also, we can see there all the different brand names. What's available here at Warung Sagara. Mixture of Indonesia. Hello. Is there some beautiful ladies' dresses, some nice clothes for the kiddies, also some beautiful looking handbags in the Babs and Curries. This is a fairly new place here. We just this has multiple opening with the kids and things. She's very popular amongst Indonesian this beach, particularly at sunset. Maybe just a little bit. Good afternoon from Bali, Indonesia. So today I'm here in the South Kuta area of Bali and what I'm going to feature in today's video for you is a street walking tour along the street of Jalan Warna Sagara. So Jalan Warna Sagara, located here in the South Kuta area of Bali, um, is a very popular tourist street. And um, this is the street basically that leads down to um, German Beach or Pantai German. Um, along this section of street featured in today's video, you're going to see many accommodation options. Also going to be a nice little collection of restaurant, warung, shopping options all along the street. Many massage also. Um, and in general, this is just a generally um, very popular tourist area here in the South Kuta area of Bali. So without any further ado, let's go and take a stroll along the street of Jalan Warner Sagara. Okay, so this is going to be the start point for today's video. I'm facing in the opposite direction to the street where I'm uh, going to be walking. However, I just want to get the bearings for you. So we have this big Baruna Bali um, Holiday Inn Resort roundabout in the middle there. This street heading up in this direction is Jalan Kartika Plaza, a very popular tourist street featuring Lippo Shopping Mall, also Discovery Shopping Mall heading towards Central Kuta area. And then in today's video, we're going to be making our way along Jalan Warner Sagara. So just on the corner there, we have a uh, mobile phone shop, or, oh, not mobile phone, mobile credit shop, uh, sorry. It's got some telecom cell data packages. There's all of your packages available from there. It's just in the back there. Okay, so just from our um, SIM card place there on the corner, just next door, we have um, Warung Sagara, Indonese Chinese food. It's got a sorry here closed, uh, reopened 8th of May, 10 a.m. Uh, we have a Parak shop, also laundry shops, a tourist goods shop selling some tourist goods. Just next door there, we have Juliantara Spa. Okay, just moving on from Juliantari Spa, we have Nuka's Restaurant. Nuka's also has an accommodation, we'll just show you that in a minute. We'll take you into the restaurant first of all. So we'll just show you a little bit, here's some of the um, happy hours on the cocktail, 60k. It's got a very big menu here. It's a little bit small for the camera to pick up that. But just inside we have a beautiful collection of uh, wooden tables and chairs, counter area in the back. There's the lobster. No service charge. That's all here at Nuka's. So just next door to Nuka's restaurant, this is our first accommodation here, we have Nuka's Beach Inn. Nuka's Beach Inn is just located in the back there. I'll just take you up to the uh, main entrance just so we can give you a closer look at it. Nice elephant temple statue here, right at the entrance. Have a rooms along the side here. There's a swimming pool right in the middle, and the rooms are all around. It's here at Nuka's. 
Okay, so we're just from Nuka's restaurant now and Nuka's Beach Inn in the back there that we've just taken you down to see. We, next door we have a place called Kebabs and Curries. This is a fairly new place here. We'll just take you across the street to show you this place. So we have an artificial grass area here at the front. There's the name, Kebabs and Curries. Some nice seating areas here. Some more to the side here. Just overlooking the street of... Um, Jalan Warner Sagara. I have a sliding door now. And here's the inside of kebabs and curries. Nice seating area. And then just there's a counter area. Okay, so just coming out of kebabs and curries, right next door we have Fairfield by Marriott. This is a big hotel. Very difficult to capture it on the camera because I have a big truck in the way. We'll just show you the name so you know the name. There's a name there and the hotel entrance is in the back there. Okay, so I'm just on the other side of the Fairfield by Marriott now, so maybe we can get a better view. There's the full hotel. And then just next door to the um, Fairfield by Marriott, we have the Bedrock Hotel. This is this um, hotel here. I'll just take you across the street and show you the name. There's the name, Bedrock Hotel. Okay, so just next door to the Bedrock Hotel, we have another accommodation called Ankul Ankul Cigara Beach um, Cooter. It's just there in the background. Okay, we'll just take you across the street and zoom in on the name, just so you can see what the hotel name is called. It's just up there and then the main reception desk is just in the back there and then just from the Ankul Ankul Hotel there we have a uh, nice big collection of um, well we have a Circle K and a Mini Mart convenience stores there and then just across the street have a nice collection of tourist goods shops we also have Crown Day Spa just across the street there also in the white behind the trees we'll take you across and start from the top up there and show you what's on this side of the street Okay, so just from Crown Day Spa, now we're going to start in this corner and make our way down the street. So this is a first tourist goods shop here, we've just asked the um, owners there, we can just give you a quick look at some of the tourist goods available here. She has a nice collection of bracelets and things there, also a nice collection of sandals here. Any different designs of sandals, very nice stuff there. Some different ones in the back here, also has a collection of hats, some suitcases also available there in case you're overloaded with luggage. And then he has a big collection of hats here also. Billabong, Rip Curl, Quicksilver, I don't know what that one is, Tommy Hilfiger, Fox, Champion, many different designs. We have a Kuta Barley hat there, we have a monster one here. Just down in the base here has a big collection of perfumes also we can see there all the different brand names many different options available in there and then just in the back here has a big collection of ladies clothing also some for the kiddies some bags also some men's t-shirts to see some um, quicksilver and rip curl bags up above there has a nice collection of sunglasses here big collection of sarongs we'll just take you over and show you some of the men's stuff as well there's a Hurley and Adidas t-shirts up there Bintang Bulls many different t-shirts in the back there so the tourist goods shop is a place called Tommy Sam shop it sells all different things it's also got a laundry express just next door to Tommy's um, shop we have Circle K convenience store get all your snacks and cigarettes and things from here just next door to the Circle K continuing on we have the Mini Mart convenience store There's some promos buy two save 5k Cineradja beer 
Mr. Potato. That's just from the Mini Mart in the back there. And then continuing on walking down the street, we have another um, tourist goods shop here called Bassery Shop. Again, we have a nice collection of hats and things in here. Beautiful collection of firm handbags and things also. Have a barley bag there. Prada Milado, some ladies' handbags and things in there. Many more goods in the back there. So just from Badsery's shop right next door, we have a brand new spa here. They do have various other branches in um, Bali. This is Crown Day Spa, Beauty and Salon. It's just in the back there. See all the girls outside. Just continuing walking down the street, we have Warung Sagara here. show you the menu so you can have an idea of what's available here at Warung Sagara. Mixture of Indonesian and um, international food dishes here I see. And there's the seating area inside Warung Sagara. Free Wi-Fi I see on the door there. Just next door to Arung Sagara, we have a place called Bali Alternative Spa. Another massage and beauty treatments there. Also just here, I'll bring you attention to it, we have lots of motorbikes for rental. Sewer motor. This one's a Vespa. Another one here from Sewer Motor. This one's a Yamaha. And bike all available there from the WhatsApp number that's just in front of Bali Alternative Spa just next door to Bali Alternative Spa we have a place called Kuta Beach Stay I wasn't aware of this place but we'll just show you the name up above Kuta Beach Stay so it's obviously some kind of accommodation the reception desk is just in there so just from Kuta Beach set stay, I've showed you the sewer motor uh, motorbike rental. There is another one across the street there called Yogi Motorbike Rentals. And he's got a collection of motorbikes also. Just on the opposite side of the street now, we have a place called Yuliantari Spa, just in the back there. We have another uh, motorbike rental company here also. Oh, this is Sewer Motor as well. So again, the one that we've just shown you on the opposite side of the street, this is the main office here in the back. So many different motorbikes available for rent here. So just back on the opposite side of the street from Juliantara Spa and the sewer motorbike rental office there, just back on this side now. So there's a Kuta Beach stay just next door there. Here we have a place called Vineyards. This is for your um, beer, wine and spirits in here. Nayaka Boutique here, another tourist goods shop. Have some wind chimes and dream catchers and things here up above. Have some nice kiddies clothing down below here. Some Bali Barong t-shirts there for children many ladies dresses and things in the back there hello how are you also have some uh, bintang barley towels there some sandals for the beach some i love barley purses handbags many things available there hello okay so just next door to nayaka boutique we have a place called not sure what that is whether it's Gemma or demma chick it's another like boutique style clothing type shop. Nice dream catchers there, some beautiful ladies dresses, some nice clothes for the kiddies also, some beautiful looking handbags in the base there. Some more nice clothing and dresses and things on this side. So just next door to Gemma Chick, we have another um, place to get your SIM card from here. It's got all your data packages and everything as well. And some of the data packages up above. We've also got some phones and things available for sale here. All your SIM card packages, XL and um, Telcom Cell are seeing that. 
just next door to our sim card shop here we have a place called Rian shop it's another typical tourist goods shop this has a nice collection of hats and things again ladies and men's hats here also some bracelets necklaces nice collection of handbags dream catchers some barley bags in there many goods inside some men's and uh, singlets and t-shirts also another collection of caps as well here Gucci, Kelvin Klein, many many different types available there, Nike so just next door to Rion shop we have a brand new place called Point Coffee we've just been given permission we'll take you in and show you inside a little seating area outside here some construction work next door pull the door here uh, as soon as we step foot inside have a beautiful collection of um, tables and chairs some nice um, coffee painted picture paintings on the wall and then as we turn around we have a beautiful um, counter area also okay so just from a point coffee shop now just next door we have a uh, new building under construction there not sure what's going on there used to be Angita spa by the sign there so that's under construction here we have um, some guys waiting for taxi service if you require taxi service here in this area there's a number up on the board here and then just continuing on around here now we have a place called barley home shopping store and export so this is a typical tourist goods shop has a lot of magnets and things outside on the boards here also has a nice um, collection of the bamboo surfboards they can usually put your names or anything you want on these has a big collection down in the base here and then just inside here has a beautiful collection of sandals and things have some adidas kfc sandals many different brands available there some gucci some white adidas also has a nice collection of ladies handbags here and then just inside we have a big collection of uh, men's singlets and things on the wall here um, in all the different sports teams not sure of all the sports teams available there's some more ladies handbags and things here many tropical shirts also i see in the back there many different ladies handbags here and then just on the back wall there has an absolutely fabulous collection of colorful sarongs okay so just next door to barley home shopping store and export we have a place called noise inc tattoo studio here there's the big sign there's the um, tattoo studio in the back there and then just moving on here just on the street here we have a local seller selling some um, drinks and snacks and things just in the back here we have a place called harry shop hotel and resale made to order again another typical tourist goods shop got a big collection of handbags and things in here also many of the perfumes many of the um, sports shirts and things all in the back there at harry shop so there's harry shop in the yellow there with the sign up above just here we have a place called barley mois uh, salon and spa this is another um, massage and uh, beauty treatments place just next door to that we have a place called grazia spa another um, beauty spa again in the back there offering his massage okay so just next door to grazia spa we have a place called coco express another convenience store just in the back there just next door to that we have a place called fortune inc which is a tattoo studio it's just in the back there just turning around from fortune inc on the opposite side of the street there we have a um, big hotel here called the hotel solarius just from the hotel solarius we have a um, love laundry express um, just directly opposite the camera there um, it's a two hour ready delivery service have a little uh, money changer not sure whether that's official or not and then just next door to that we have a fruit market and fresh juice and then just turning around from this collection of um, places here we have the aston cooter hotel and residence this has multiple hotels all through Indonesia. It's 
just in the back there so just from the Aston Cooter Hotel there, moving back across the street. So there's a little um, Laundry Express fresh fruit market juice shop. And then just across the street here, we have another collection, a tattoo studio, some more toys, good shop, mini mart convenience store. So we'll just cut across the street now and show you. So here we have Sagara Agung Tattoo Studio. It's the name, Sagara Agung Tattoo Studio is just in the back there. Also just out the front here at Sagara Gung, we have some more motorbikes for rental. Oh, this is Sewer Motor again, so they're all along the street here. Must be a very popular motorbike rental in this area. Just next door we have a place called Aini Spa. It's just in the back there. Just continuing along here, we have another tourist goods shop in the, um, just here. Selling all your handbags and t-shirts, all your typical tourist goods, some sarongs here again at the front, I see. Here's the name of the spa. All of the treatments available there on the board. And then just next door here we have a uh, mini mart convenience store. So just from a mini mark convenience store right across the street there we have the Resata Bali Resort and Spa. I've just featured this place in a video. I shall put the link in the description. I'll just go across the street and show you the name. So there's the name. There's also restaurants, Indian restaurant attached with this, spas and things also just in the back there okay so this is the Risata um, resort here Bali uh, resort here next along the line here this is a place called the Rama Beach Resort I've also featured this accommodation in a video we'll just take you across the street and show you the name here there's the name it's just in the back there so just from the Rama Beach Resort and Villas there, just directly across the street, we have a place called SA Caf since 1991. A nice little seating area here out the front. There's also a seating area inside there. There's some of the menu. So just next door to SA Caf now we have a place called Circle K which is another convenience store. It's got two on this street now of the Circle K. Still have the uh, Rama Beach Resort running along the side of the street here. It's quite a big place this, I have featured this in a video. A little bit of construction work going on through the um, brick walls there. Looks maybe like some accommodation being built. We have a um, Eagle Ink Tattoo Studio just across the street there. Here's some of the food here at the Rama uh, Beach Resort. It's very nice. There's all the details there. And then just continuing on from the Rama, oh we also have a breakfast buffet as well here. 100k, seems a good deal that. I might actually try that myself. And then just continuing on along the street here now, we have the Holiday Inn Express. It's in the green and the um, blue sign there. And then now we continue walking to German Beach. Okay, so I'm almost at the end of Jalan Warner Sagara now. So here's the Holiday Inn Resort that was pointed out from the top there. This is the um, bottom end now. This is the coming out bit. And then here's the um, gate entrance to Pantai German or German Beach. However, there's just one more hotel here on the corner. This is the Sulis Beach Kuta Bali. I featured this hotel in a video. I shall put the link in the description. We'll 
Okay, so just from the Sullis Beach Hotel now, this is the main gate entrance here to Pantai German or German Beach. So here you have um, you have to pay for parking for motorbike. If you're um, coming by motorbike, it's two thousand. Car is ten thousand. You just make your payment to these guys here on the side, and then we're just going to continue walking down to um, German Beach. So just as we're walking, just on the left here, this is a place called Envy. I'll just show you the name. And a romantic dinner in there. Envy food and cocktails. There's all the different things on here. So just at the end of Envy now, I'll just take you in here. So this is the inside and there's the um, seating area inside of Envy. Also have a very impressive bar there as well. Looks very, very beautiful. Big grass gardens as well in there. And then now we've arrived at German Beach. This is the um, car parking area. We have all the um, parking for cars and motorbikes here. Just along the back of the beach here, if you want some local little warungs and cheap food, there's a collection of local warungs here at the back of the beach. Selling coconuts and all your typical Indonesian simple dish food here. There's all the warungs all along the back there. So there's all the warungs in the back here. You can see in the blue signs all in the back, here's all the full view of the car parking area. And now we've arrived on the beach, we have some families here enjoying themselves with the kids and things. It's at the back of the beach and then now we've arrived at German Beach. Okay, so just walking on the beach here, you'll just have to excuse the light, we're walking direct into sunlight. So just so you can get a good look at German Beach, we have um, quite a few people in the ocean there playing with the kids and things. She's very popular amongst Indonesian this beach, particularly at sunset, maybe just a little bit early. Have the big statue in the distance, a plane's coming into land also in the distance. Have some um, sunbeds and things available for rent here at the back of the beach. And then here's German Beach. So you'll have to forgive the sun, we're right into sunlight there. Okay, so I've just walked down to the far end of um, German Beach now. We have this impressive statue, we can't see it too well because we're direct into um, sunlight. I just want to give you a full pan of the beach here, just so you know what it looks like. There's a lot of coral on the beach here. And then just in the end here, we have another section. This is a nice little quiet section here. Some families in the uh, motion there. Okay, so that concludes today's video. My walking tour, stroll along the street of Jalan Warner Sagara here in the South Kuta area of Bali. So as you've seen with the camera in today's videos, you've got a fabulous collection of hotel accommodation choices along the street of Jalan Warner Sagara. And there's many up more on the side streets just off Jalan Warner Sagara. Also some smaller options available there. You've got a nice collection of restaurant warungs, also some great shopping options, tourist uh, goods shopping options along the street there also. At the end of the street of Jalan Warner Sagara, you've got the fabulous German beach. Now German beach is going to be fabulous um, for you to come to if you want a beach where you can just sit and relax and not really be um, hassled too much by any sellers or anything on the beach. There's going to be the odd one but nothing like what you're going to experience at the Kuta, Legian and Seminyak beach areas. So on that note, hope you've enjoyed today's video. Hope some of you find this video useful, especially if you're staying in this area of um, Kuta. And I shall say bye for now.